Kick Butowski Suburban Daredevil is an animated gem from Disney Animation that centers on the main character, Clarence Francis, also known as Kick Butowski, a fearless 10-year-old who combines the charm of a cute mascot with the rugged attitude and voice of a six-packs-a-day hero. Accompanied by best pal and wingman Gunther Magnuson, Kick dreams of becoming the world's best daredevil. He resides in the suburbs of Mellowbrook with his mother, father, and older brother, Brad. One prominent element of the show revolves around Kick's brother, Brad, who takes on the role of Kick's arch nemesis, serving as a constant obstacle in Kick's path to his daredevil glory. Fortunately, he has his loyal and trusted friend, Gunther, by his side, offering unwavering support and assistance in overcoming the hurdles that Brad presents. Together, Kick and Gunther form an unbreakable bond, navigating the ups and downs of their adventures, proving that true friendship can conquer any obstacle. With Brad as the persistent rival and Gunther as the unwavering ally, Kick Potowski Suburban Daredevil brings a captivating dynamic that adds excitement to the show. So, without wasting another moment, let's dive headfirst into the daring escapades of Kick and delve into the captivating web of friendships and rivalries that surround him. Meet the one and only Kick Potowski, the pint-sized powerhouse of extreme stunts and hilarity. From the moment he escaped the clutches of diapers, it was clear this kid had an appetite for danger. Kick is a walking hurricane of determination, even at the tender age of 10. And what's his mission, you might ask? Well, it's to become the most epic daredevil the world has ever witnessed. Throughout the show, Kick is seen doing a whirlwind of adrenaline-fueled activities. In the pilot episode, Kick fearlessly tries to conquer the dreaded dead man's drop. And that's not all. Kick showcases his incredible skills in karate, boxing, and wrestling, which adds an extra layer of excitement to his daredevil persona. Now, let's talk fashion. Kick is all about the jumpsuit and helmet, because safety first, folks. He's like a walking neon billboard screaming, I'm about to do something ridiculously awesome. You can't help but admire his commitment to looking cool while risking life and limb. Oh, and did I mention his real name's Clarence? But let's be honest, Clarence just doesn't have the same pizzazz as Kick Potowski. So he does what any self-respecting aspiring stunt performer would do, he gives himself a badass alter ego. Kick but it doesn't stop there, folks. Kick knows that no stunt is truly complete until it's been uploaded to the internet for the whole world to see. He's like a modern-day thrill-seeking influencer, documenting his craziest escapades in the hopes of gaining fame and recognition. I guess you could say he's a pioneer in the field of stuntfluencers. Despite his wild nature, Kick surprisingly has a kind nature. Throughout the series, he's been seen doing acts of kindness. And here's the kicker, pun intended. Kick is also a law-abiding citizen. In the episode, he stops every single time the traffic light turns red. It's like he's the poster child for responsible pedestrian behavior. Kick is one tough cookie when it comes to pain, too. The guy can plummet from outer space to Earth's crust without even flinching. But in the unforgettable episode, Dead Man's Drop, Kick agonizes over the thorns stuck in his butt. Not gonna lie, that made me say, Aw, oh, biscuits. Ah, biscuits. That's a catchphrase used by Kick. While Kick's grades might not always shine, don't underestimate the tiny daredevil's ability to pull off miraculous feats of memory when the pressure's on, too. In the episode Morning Rush, Kick finishes two months' work of homework in a single night. Just when he's about to impress Gunther, Oscar the dog gobbles up Kick's homework. Not being the one to back down, Kick manages to complete all the lost homework again within six minutes. Now, that's a talent I sure am envious of. Being a jack of all trades, Kick has many talents that'd make your jaw drop faster than a bungee jumper without a cord. He's practically a ninja in yellow boots with his skills in martial arts. However, the most prominent skill that Kick possesses is his ability to drive various vehicles. He instantly gained mastery over Billy Stump's monster truck in Stumped. And let's not forget about how Kick's a champion of skateboarding. But that's not all. Kick's brain is as sharp as his reflexes. In one mind-boggling episode, Kickasaurus Rex, he showcases his engineering genius by constructing a giant mechanical T-Rex. 
Kick is living proof that superheroes don't always wear capes. Sometimes they wear jumpsuits and contain big butts. I don't know about you, but if I had half the talent and skills that Kick possesses, I'd declare myself the king of the world. It's no secret that the stunts and antics he pulls off would be incredibly risky and potentially life-saving for an ordinary person. Yet, what sets Kick apart is his fearless nature and seemingly invulnerable resilience. It's almost as if he possesses some sort of hidden superpower, granting him the ability to emerge unscathed from perilous situations that'd leave others seriously injured or worse. Watching Kick fearlessly engage in these dangerous acts without even flinching raises the question, what is the source of his extraordinary durability? Could there be more to this cute little daredevil than meets the eye? It's possible that he harbors a secret power, granting him a supernatural ability to defy harm and escape unscathed when logic dictates otherwise. Another explanation could be the classic concept of cartoon plot armor, where characters endure seemingly impossible scenarios and bounce back unharmed in the next scene. This comedic trope provides a level of invulnerability and serves as a source of amusement for viewers. However, it may also serve as a subtle hint towards Kick's hidden supernatural abilities. Whatever the case may be, there's no denying that Kick's unwavering fearlessness and ability to emerge unharmed add an extra layer of intrigue and excitement to his daring escapades. Now, let's dive into the awe-inspiring world of daredevil greatness. Meet the Pantheon, a league of extraordinary individuals who have taken the art of daredevilry to mind-blowing heights. This group of five individuals is labeled as the world's best daredevils that Kick Witowski looks up to as his ultimate icons of thrill-seeking inspiration. These daredevils are Rock Callahan, Boom McConder, Billy Stumps, Jock Wilder, and Dirt Bike Mike. To begin with, we have the rock star of the daredevils, Rock Callahan. This guy is more than just a daredevil. He's an actor with the flair for the dramatic. With his death-defying stunts, Rock knows how to make an entrance like nobody else does. Kick can't help but be struck by Rock's badassery. I mean, who wouldn't be? This guy has the audacity to walk like the special effects team, creating explosions of excitement wherever he goes. When Rock says, let's rock, you know you're in for an adventure. Now let's rev our engines and meet the one-armed wonder, Billy Stumps the monster truck maestro and one of Kick's daredevil idols. This man possesses the talent of conquering monster trucks with just one arm. Stumps proves that nothing can hold you back when you've got a heart full of passion and a foot heavy on the pedal. Now here's a fun little tidbit for you. Keep your eyes peeled, because if you're lucky, you might spot Stumps making a cameo appearance in a poster hanging by Kick's door. It's like a secret treasure for eagle-eyed fans to discover. Even though Stumps may not have had a major role in the series, his presence adds an extra touch of diversity and uniqueness to the show's colorful cast of characters. Jock Wilder is another daredevil in the mix. He's the founder of Jock Wilder's Nature Camp. Believe it or not, Jock was actually raised by wolves during his childhood. Yep, you heard that right, wolves. Talk about growing up with a pack mentality. With a heart as untamed as the wilderness itself, Jock fearlessly takes on whatever challenges Mother Nature throws his way. He's always pushing boundaries and inspiring those around him, including our very own Kick Potowski. There's certainly no adventure too wild, no obstacle too hairy for Jock Wilder. When it comes to pushing the limits though, Dirt Bike Mike is the real MVP in Kick Potowski's world. He's not satisfied with just a few broken bones. He goes all out and breaks records. In fact, he holds the prestigious title of the most broken bones ever documented in the Global Book of Awesome. Well, he certainly has bone-crushing dedication. However, Dirt Bike Mike is never one to let a few broken bones slow him down. If anything, it only fuels his determination to push the limits of extreme sports even further. He's like a human embodiment of resilience and fearlessness, always ready to conquer new heights, break new records, and bones too. Kick Potowski is inspired by the way Dirt Bike Mike fearlessly faces challenges and never backs down from a daredevil feat. It motivates Kick to become just as awe-inspiring. Boom McCondor is another force to be reckoned with. This guy knows how to make things go boom, both literally and figuratively. 
In the episode, Things That Make You Go Boom, Kick and Brad embark on a thrilling scavenger hunt to track down Boom's prized lucky skate wheel. Now, if you were placing bets, you'd naturally assume that Kick, being the daredevil extraordinaire, would easily come out on top. But hey, life loves throwing curveballs, and this time it's Brad who steals the spotlight. But here's where the plot takes a daring detour. Brad realizes that he's not cut out for the whole daredevil lifestyle that Kick lives and breathes. Brad gives up his prize, a dream trip to Hawaii with Boom. With Brad out of the picture, Kick steps up to the challenge and takes Brad place in the wildest stunt ever known as the stunt to end all stunts. You just know Kick is going to bring his A-game and rock that stunt like the true daredevil that he is. These legends of adventure have their names engraved in the world's Book of Awesome, and Kick aspires to one day have his name on the book. At first, Kick views his grandpa as just your typical old guy, with stories that might put you to sleep faster than a lullaby. But oh boy, was he in for a ride. In the episode Truth or Daredevil, we peel back the layers of Kick's grandfather's seemingly mundane past and uncover a jaw-dropping secret. Before he was all old and wrinkly, Grandpa Butowski was once a delivery boy, hustling through the streets like a champion. To no one's surprise, his delivery prowess would catch the eagle-eyed attention of none other than the US military. The military needed a hero, and they found one in Kick's grandpa. His mission? To journey into the heart of Tankinistan, a country ruled by a ruthless dictatorship, and retrieve a package of utmost importance from a chemistry lab. What was inside this package, you ask? Brace yourself. Jaguar juice. A classified rocket fuel made from the gases of real jaguars. No animals were hurt during the filming of this episode, though. The stakes were high, and the fate of the war hung in the balance. Kick's grandpa stepped up to the challenge, proving that even an ordinary delivery boy could become a hero when duty called. In a heartwarming conclusion of Grandpa Batowski's story, we see Grandpa Batowski pass the torch, or should I say goggles, to Kick. The end gets even sweeter when he takes Kick on a ride on his old military motorbike. Harold Batowski, Kick's dear old dad, shares a special bond with his fearless son. They're always ready to share a laugh, especially at the expense of poor old Brad. But let's be honest, Harold isn't always the epitome of parental perfection. Sure, he's got that dad vibe going on, but there are times when he can be a bit, let's say, enthusiastically controlling. You know the type. He can be a bit overprotective, like that helicopter parent that sometimes gets on your nerves. Take the infamous Brad's Room episode, for example, where instead of fixing Kick's room, Harold gets all caught up in his grand plans of building a man cave for himself. Talk about selfishness. In the episode Crumbs, we witness the full extent of Harold's insatiable love for his wife's cookies. Must be the honey that honey puts in her cookies that makes Harold go on extreme lengths to satisfy his sweet tooth. Harold Butowski is not exactly the master of coordination either. As per the episode Father from the Truth reveals, beyond his selfishness and his love for Honey's cookies, Harold's role as Kick's father brings on a special flavor to the show. He's a mix of overprotectiveness and genuine care, always looking out for his daredevil son. With a kid like Kick, you can't help but follow the motto, safety first, second, and third. That's the case for Mother Batowski, who breaks into cold sweats every time her son is doing jaw-dropping antics. Despite Honey's ability to worry about the intensity of a thousand concerned mothers, deep down, Honey acknowledges Kick's love for passion. And it turns out that's something they both have in common. As it turns out, Honey was a speedboat racing superstar in her prime. Amidst the chaos that ensues in the Batowski household, the slightly overworked Mama Batowski revealed that her favorite child is none other than Kick. Oops, that's a secret you have to take to the grave, Mama. However, through it all, Honey Batowski remains a badass mom, juggling a daredevil son, a beauty queen in the making, and, well, Brad. So whether she's unintentionally revealing her favorites, balancing the chaos of sibling dynamics, or anxiously cheering on Kick's gravity-defying stunts, Honey Batowski is the heart and soul of the family, who embraces the ups, downs, and everything in between.
Ah, uh, let's talk about the fabulous Brianna Batowski, the younger sis who knows how to make an entrance. She's got the flair for drama down to a science and can often be found in beauty pageants and recitals. And why bother with school when you can strut around in fancy clothes? That's exactly the kind of life Miss Brianna lives. In the episode Not Without My Cereal, Brianna becomes a little troublemaker. She takes Kick's beloved cereal and turns the grocery store into her personal playground. But hold on to your shopping carts, because as the episode unfolds, Brianna has a change of heart that's more surprising than finding a unicorn in the cereal aisle. She ends up teaming up with Kick and causing chaos of a different kind. Sure, Brianna may be a little high maintenance and love the spotlight, but deep down there's more to her than meets the eye. So let's embrace the starlet with a heart of gold and enjoy the unexpected surprises that she brings to Kick's wild adventures. After all, life would be a bit dull without a touch of Brianna's sparkle and theatrics. As for sibling shenanigans, older brother Brad Batowski has got you covered on that front. This guy cranks up the sibling rivalry to maximum intensity, creating a whirlwind of annoyance that follows Kick's every step. Now, Brad may not win any Brother of the Year awards, but he does have one thing on his mind. The ladies. Dude is like a magnet for trouble when it comes to impressing the opposite gender. Brad has a stash of chewing gum from all of his crushes, carefully preserved like precious artifacts. It's like a shrine dedicated to his romantic conquests, albeit in a slightly quirky and peculiar way. Move over, Joe Goldberg. There's a new perv in town, and his name is Brad Batowski. Let's not forget that there are moments when Brad begrudgingly lends a hand to kick, either. Of course, it usually comes with a hidden agenda, though. In the episode There Will Be Nachos, Brad has a lightbulb moment where he uses kick to turn his party into a rave. Shameful, but when opportunity knocks, Brad is there to answer. With a side of nachos, of course. In episodes Cart to Cart and Love Stinks, Kick swoops in like a superhero to save Brad from complete humiliation or a lifetime of embarrassment. Those two have a love-hate relationship that's as puzzling as a Rubik's Cube with missing colors. While their relationship might be confusing though, one thing is certain. There's never a dull moment at the Batowskis. Now, we all already know how talent runs in the family. Then how come Brad got the bitter end of it? Well, I believe he didn't. It's an interesting perspective to consider Brad's character in a different light. Despite being initially portrayed as a jerk, there may be more to him than meets the eye. It's true that Brad and Kick used to be close, even best friends, but as they grew up, they drifted apart. Rather than attributing to this jealousy, perhaps Brad's seemingly bully persona is actually a way to support and challenge Kick. It's possible that Brad possesses his own hidden talents and skills, which is why he consistently manages to find employment despite his apparent loser image. By concealing his abilities, Brad ensures that Kick is the one who shines and gains confidence. Additionally, by creating obstacles in Kick's way, Brad helps him find a greater sense of accomplishment when he overcomes them. While Brad may appear villainous on the surface, there's a possibility that he's a loving brother in disguise, wanting the best for Kick and providing him with the necessary challenges to grow. You know that one relative who can effortlessly push your buttons? Well, that's Cousin Kyle in a nutshell. The first time we meet him in the episode Kyle Be Back, he manages to unintentionally sabotage one of Kick's stunts with his never-ending chatter. It's like the dude has a PhD in distraction. But here's where things get interesting. In Kyle 2.0, we discover that Kyle has this peculiar ability to disrupt radio signals just by being near them. It's like his quirkiness knows no bounds. And believe it or not, despite his knack for driving Kick crazy, Kyle is actually a huge fan of his cousin's adventures. A crazy fan is better than no fan, right? So while cousin Kyle may test your patience, Deep down, he's just a misunderstood supporter of Kick's wild escapades. However, Kyle might not be who he claims to be at all. Instead, he could be a secret agent or undercover operative, using his frequent visits to Mellowbrook as a clever disguise for carrying out covert missions. Think about it. Kyle's regular presence in Mellowbrook and his seemingly innocuous interactions with Kick and the rest of the family could be the perfect cover for his true purpose. Perhaps he uses his connections to gather information, 
observe potential targets, or even execute classified operations right under everyone's noses. The idea of Cousin Kyle being an undercover operative adds a whole new layer of mystery and intrigue to his character. It raises questions about his true intentions and what he might be involved in behind the scenes. Is he working for a top secret agency? Are there ulterior motives behind his visits? The possibilities are endless, and it's this air of uncertainty that captivates the imaginations of fans. Gunther and Kick's friendship is like a match made in wacky heaven. They've been through it all, from epic stunts to hilarious mishaps. However, in the episode Abandoned Friendship, they had their biggest fight. But hey, what's a little tiff between buddies? As they embarked on their quest to explore new friendships, it was like watching two lost puppies trying to find their way home. However, they quickly realized that no one could match the absurdity and adventure they shared together. And in that one episode where Jackie Wackerman crushes hard on Kick, Gunther couldn't help but feel like a sidekick in the shadows. But fear not, as these two brothers from different mothers ended up finding their way back to each other after all. Whether it's celebrating Kick's victories or plucking thorns out of his butt, Gunther's unwavering support and unique charm make him the perfect partner in crime and the best hype man in Kick's world. Now, here's something interesting. I believe that this ideal best friend that Kick has in the shape of Gunther does not actually exist. It's possible to interpret Gunther as an imaginary friend that Kick created for himself as a source of unwavering support especially during challenging times when his brother became a source of frustration. This idea could explain why Gunther is always present in every situation and consistently cheers Kick on. The occasional fights they have could be part of Kick's imagination to make the friendship feel more authentic. Imaginary friends can often serve as a source of comfort and encouragement for individuals, particularly when facing difficulties or seeking companionship. So, while Gunther may not be a physical character, his presence in Kick's life as an imaginary friend could represent the unwavering support and camaraderie that Kick desires. Wacky Jackie, the ultimate Kick enthusiast. This girl's got a serious case of Kick fever, and she's not afraid to show it. Sure, Jackie's obsession with Kick can be a bit over the top, but Kick's patience knows no bounds. He's willing to put up with her wild antics and even lend a helping hand when she needs it. Kick recognizes that beneath her crazy exterior lies a girl seeking connection. That's why, in a surprising turn of events, he goes the extra mile to throw her a birthday party in The Gift of Wacky. Who knows, amidst all the chaos, a genuine friendship might just be blossoming. After all, when you're in the world of Kick Batowski, anything can happen. Gordy Gibble and Kick Batowski are like water and oil, constantly crashing and trying to one-up each other. In the episode Switching Gears, Gordy struts around with his inflated ego, thinking he's the king of the hill. He has his sidekicks, the Depazzi twins, by his side. These troublemakers are like his partners in crime, always ready to pull off sneaky schemes that'll help Gordy cheat his way to victory. While Gordy may think he's got the upper hand though, Kick's determination and skill always manage to give him a run for his money. And if Kick's wild stunts were a spicy salsa, Kendall would be the smooth and steady guacamole. While Kendall may be Kick's nemesis, she's not the stuff of nightmares. Instead, she's the one who keeps things interesting for Kick and us. In the tangled web of nemesis turned potential love interest, Kick and Kendall have had their fair share of surprisingly enjoyable moments. Take the episode Hand in Hand, for example, where Fate decided to stick their hands together with Sap in Ronaldo's garage. It was an unexpected, sticky situation that brought them closer. Moreover, in the episode Rocked, Kick dreams about having Kendall as this beautiful, thrill-seeking chick. Kendall, being the mischievous spirit she is, takes pleasure in calling Kick by his real name, Clarence, knowing that it'll annoy him. It's a playful jab that keeps their interactions lively and adds a touch of humor to their exchanges. But when emotions run high and sparks fly, Kendall can't resist dropping his original name, emphasizing the powerful connection they share. Kick and Kendall find themselves in a situation where they had to dance together, and as the tension between them grew palpable, it was a moment that took everyone by surprise. 
as it seemed like Kiss was just a heartbeat away. However, as quickly as the moment arose, it vanished into thin air, returning their relationship to its usual dynamic. There is undeniably chemistry between those two, that's for sure. I mean, the close call with a potential kiss and Kendall's strategic use of Kick's real name hint at a deeper connection than just surface-level nemeses. Throughout the show, Kick's adventures, misadventures, and the colorful cast of characters that surround him make for a wild and entertaining ride. If you're looking for something mellow, Kick Potowski's got your back too. Before we wrap up, here's a mind-boggling idea for you to ponder. You know how Kick Butowski follows a pretty predictable episode formula? Kick wants to do a stunt, someone tries to stop him, and then Kick finds a clever way to outsmart them? It's like deja vu all over again. But here's the kicker. What if, just hear me out, what if the characters are actually trapped in a time loop? I know it sounds a bit crazy, but think about it for a sec. Given the wacky nature of the show, it's not that far-fetched. Imagine if Kick and his crew were stuck in a never-ending cycle, reliving their adventures over and over again. It opens up a whole can of worms and raises some mind-bending questions about the show's universe. If this time loop theory holds any water, it means the characters are destined to repeat their experiences indefinitely. Can you imagine that frustration? But it also leaves us wondering, what caused the time loop in the first place? And is there any way for them to break free from this endless repetition? It's a whole way for us to dive deeper into the story and explore the possibilities. So next time you watch Kick Butowski, keep this time loop theory in mind. It might just make you see the show in a whole new light, adding an extra dash of excitement and mystery to Kick's stunt-filled adventures. So that'll be it from us. If you enjoyed the video, then leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.